Kimmy is made up to be a nubile 18 year old girl who doesn't wear makeup according to the captions and she is Japanese living in New York. How come there are Korean words on the pictures then? And more importantly, where is Peter in all of these photos? So we asked on Twitter, does anyone recognize the girl in the photos? Two of my awesome readers helped me check it out and guess what? She is a Korean Olzang. I don't know what the f*** that means. So maybe get a job, get a girlfriend, move out of mommy's house, then come back and preach. <laughs> a real girl. <laughs> Best thing ever? Jesus, Peter. <laughs> oh my God. Do you guys know about the Peter Coffin memes? <laughs> <laughs> do you guys know? Do you guys know about the Peter Coffin memes? There's like an iceberg of Peter Coffin memes, okay? The tip of the iceberg is like, he's just a joke socialist dipshit on Twitter. The one layer deep of the iceberg is a like, you've made me tired, okay? The next layer is where he makes a whole video and says it wasn't about me, even though he literally photoshopped, screen grabbed my background and then dressed himself up in a hoodie and made a video satirizing me. The average person gets up every single day and goes to their bad job that they picked because of some you problem. And maybe they're biologically stupid. Maybe they're just too lazy to be smart. You're not willing to defend any of your ideas. You can't substantiate anything outside of like a huge video circle jerk. And all you do is you mischaracterize the fuck out of everybody that disagrees with you. This is why I got popular. It's because I filled a void that none of you were able to okay, do. Okay, so what you've done here, yeah? shut the fuck up. What you've done here is you've made me tired. Okay, that's what you fucking did. Yeah. That's all you did. Okay. I'm already emotionally done. I've had a full day. Mm -hmm. I'm intending to put my kids to bed. You have made me fucking tired. That's what I'm fucking right now. That's cool. I'm crying for you right now. Like, I'm, it's so sad. Like, how sure, hard your life must crying. be, like, making YouTube you're videos. Crying. Like, yeah, yeah that's so hard. Right now. <laughs> laughing, putting the head back, laughing. Hi. You don't think I have to deal with any kind of, like, blowback from the internet stuff that I do? Oh, no. I, I, just, I, 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 definitely, I, I, I definitely don't. I definitely don't think that you've ever dealt with anything on the internet ever. That's my position. Okay, because you're trying to play a pity card while you're contributing to, like, active I'm harm. not trying to play a pity you card. You are. You're sitting here crying about how tired you are after you just made a borderline hit piece video on me. Like, come on, dude. You think I'm supposed it's to fucking feel bad? It is. Fuck. You're literally Shut using an up. image of me to construct, like, fucking race no, realist I'm, I'm arguments, here, dog. Yeah. It is I'm absolutely. Here, All right. Good luck. See you later. Then the deeper... The deeper part of the iceberg. The ball kicking video. <laughs> right here on this stage, please welcome the groin kicker himself, Peter Coffin. <laughs> Pete, how you doing? I am good, Steve. By the way, I gotta show you this. Step over here. Did you notice how Peter was walking out? I got this is the look of a guy that's fitting to kick yourself in the nuts. That's exactly what it is, Steve. I'm telling you, man. Let me get on this side, because I... I mean, hey, <laughs> come on, Peter, let me see. All right, here we go. I'm just going to stay here for a second. <laughs> okay, we're going... At this point, people thought that's as deep as the iceberg went, okay? We're going to go one level deeper. We're going to go one level deeper. I don't know who this person is. I looked up some YouTube videos of her. I, she's some... I think she might be Chinese. She's some Asian lady that does commentary content. I don't know that much about her, but she has a blog 10 years ago, March 23rd, 2011. Okay. Peter Coffin is a loser. I think today's blog post is going to be interesting. It's all about this guy called Peter Coffin. A little background. He's an American douchebag dude doing YouTube videos and the videos are like mostly lame parodies or something. I don't know. I can't finish watching even one link here. Warning, douchebaggery ahead. Anyway, I wouldn't give two fucks about this dude if not for the fact that he consistently undermines me and insults me on Twitter. He seems to have a problem with girls who photoshopped their pics, put on makeup, had plastic surgery, his views on Kim Kardashian, or are just vain in general. I mean, 
I understand most, if not all men, prefer natural beauty, but it's not like I'm freaking pushing my face into his view, am I? I'm so far away from him physically, why can't he just unfollow me instead of attacking me all the time? He actually reminds me of those crazy homophobes who like have an abnormal hatred for girly boys and have to beat them up, except he does that with vapid females. I'm guessing he's been picked on them by, picked on by them in high school. Couldn't find his older hate comments on me, but here's the latest after I announced I had a nose job revision. Congrats, congrats to, um, is this Xiai Zhu? I don't know how to pronounce his name, Shai Zhu? On being one step closer to an unattainable goal, as well as being a shit role model. The wrong people succeed sometimes. Peter Coffin, please explain what's wrong with doing a revision when it's crooked. Shai Wei, Wendy Chang, Chang. Speechless, here's what he tweeted. At Shai Shui, please explain to people how they can never be good enough without expensive doctor yacht buying procedures and crap you hawk. Please explain why you even reply to me. What in fuckery's sake is this rubbish? Don't pretend you give a shit about me being a role model. Really? If you cared so much about being the perfect role model, then why are your own tweets and videos so vulgar? And since my nose job is sponsored, it's not relevant to me buying yachts at all. I do find it, however, pretty revealing that he mentioned being not good enough. See above high school theory. <clears throat> okay. So, makes fun of random girl on Twitter, you know, who cares? Do we really care that much? Is this really that interesting? Is it really something we actually care about? <sighs> not really. It's actually pretty boring, you know? I don't actually know if I should have brought this up now. Maybe this is just kind of, maybe this is kind of boring. Okay, okay. I'm long-winded, but I swear I haven't gotten to the interesting parts yet. So I blocked that moron and guess what? Along comes a chick called Kimi Kobayashi, who also starts insulting me. She is Peter's girlfriend and she looks like this. Like super pretty. She is Japanese. Also, her Twitter had 17,000 followers, so she's actually pretty popular. So I tweeted some nasty reply to her and blocked her. So annoying that she's so hot, what the fuck? And then things started getting suspicious. Two days later, Kimmy not only locked up her Twitter and stopped tweeting, she deleted her Tumblr, too. I started thinking, something isn't right, so I went to see Peter's Twitter. <clears throat> Nothing happened, she just really needs a break and needs to not be a Twitter comedian. It's really just the feeling means I don't care about my pitch. Two words you don't hear often together, library battle, latest dead space, I don't know what this, oh, these are just a bunch of tweets. This is hard but important. Kimmy's Twitter became too much too fast. We are still together, but she will be taking a break from Twitter. So apparently, Kimmy was sick of being a Twitter comedian. That is weird because all she did was to be a Twitter comedian. And then here's tweets from Kimmy Kobayashi. You shouldn't actually hold your body against Britney. You might catch fleas about 12 hours ago. I wonder if kids who regularly throw tantrums in public places know how many abortions they have influenced. I like my men how I like my hamsters. Cute, low maintenance, and a lifespan of one to two. It's all just like dumb, right? When women brag about giving birth with no pain relief, all I hear is my pussy currently looks like a Saving Private Ryan set. <clears throat> no personal tweets. No talking about girly issues like her hair or shopping or boyfriends. And girls who look like Kimmy and snap photos of themselves to post online will never be so other-centered, okay? Just crude, lame jokes. Just watched your debate with Infrared. Master class in tackling a skilled rhetorician. Great work, buddy. Bookfucker would be proud. Thanks. Just crude, lame jokes. The jokes sound familiar? Yes, they sound like Peter. I suppose you can guess where I'm heading to. So to further confirm my suspicions, I looked at Kimmy's TwitPic stream, worth a click, and here are some of the pictures. The worst part about being friends with thin Asians is that I'm the bigger one. <laughs> this one really got me. Would any girl take a photo with her friends and read a nasty caption like that? No, okay, there's like a crudely drawn penis. I don't know if it's a TOS or not, so we're just gonna scroll past it, I guess. But it's like a, it's like a four line thing um and it says an abandoned building in japan and a beautifully drawn penis it doesn't get much better than that it's art sure 
All right, now I'm scrolling down past that. It's a rocket ship. <clears throat> a penis. Um, that is realistic how? I don't know if she's being dancing or not. Um, no, note the Korean words in the background. Cola in Japan. I think it tastes better in America, though. It has the extra taste of freedom. So, saying she's in Japan, well, there's Korean behind her. Kimmy is made up to be a nubile, 18-year-old girl who doesn't wear makeup, according to the captions, and she is Japanese, living in New York. How come there are Korean words on the pictures, then? And more importantly, where is Peter in all of these photos? So we asked on Twitter, does anyone recognize the girl in the photos? Two of my awesome readers helped me check it out, and guess what? She is a Korean Olzang. I don't know what the fuck that means. Her name is Lee Na Young. She is not Japanese, probably not 18, not Kimi Kobayashi, and most definitely not dating Peter Coffin. Her pics, available here and here, were stolen from her website by a complete loser and used as a pawn for his own validation and popularity. In other words, Peter stole her photos and created a fake profile to be his girlfriend. So here begs the question, what the fuck is wrong with him? Raises the question. I print screened some of the funnier stuff. Peter Coffin, at Kimmy. Hey, thought I'd publicly flirt with you. At Peter, look, you were told by my lawyer to stay away from me after the attack. Don't make me call the police. At Kimmy, the problem is the state call. So it's just like a ton of them, like him flirting with himself. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, oh my God. Oh, <sighs> LOL, loser, six exclamation marks. <laughs> ha 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 ha. Can you imagine that fucker flirting to and fro with himself and thinking he found his soulmate? It's so ridiculous that people would believe that that's two different people tweeting each other. The writing style is exactly the same. Peter Coffin, July 8th, 2010. Some of you guys were like, less than 10 years old when this was written but it's time for me to say something at kimmy and myself are twitter's new power couple lol i'm sorry but even if kimmy is real which she isn't the term power couple res are reserved strictly for good looking or famous people you're fugly and not famous and she doesn't exist so neither of you qualify do you wish to marry peter someday <laughs> At Kimmy, you were beautiful and I loved you. I love you too. You are the best. <laughs> oh, and this is him writing about his girlfriend. I'm not often public with my personal life, but people probably know, or at least they should by now, that I'm in a relationship with a really incredible woman. Bizarre how different I technically am from her, but how completely the same we are. There's almost no difference between the two of us, except she doesn't like milk or peanut butter. I do. We are both pretty big fans of bread, however, to the point that I brought up the idea of making a t-shirt that simply said carbs, and she agreed with me that it would be a good idea. Enthusiastically so, too. Gorgeous as well. Like, I have never really considered myself to be hot stuff or anything like that, but I nabbed me a looker. Someone I believe to be way out of my league. Lucky for me, that isn't even her most redeeming quality. She's smart, funny, caring, independent. The actual definition of the word, rather than bitchy. Endlessly contemplative and humble. She doesn't believe her own hype, and I think probably never will. <laughs> it's all like a fake person. I'm glad she likes the, the carbs idea, because it's crap. It doesn't symbolize love for bread at all, because many other things are carbs. Blah, blah. It drives me nuts to see people basically being racist to at Kimmy. And yes, she's beautiful, but she's mine. Are you wondering why Peter wrote this? It's because he also created a Kimmy YouTube account to comment on his own videos. <laughs> At Peter Coffin. Oh, wait, where is it? So somebody's like shitting on Peter's video here, and then she comes in. What an absolute asshole you are. You must be so miserable if you need to take the time to insult someone like that. If you think a plastic bimbo who wears 10 layers of makeup like Kim Kardashian is ridiculously gorgeous, you're clearly a loser who can't find a real woman. Also, Peter is not lazy. He works very hard on his videos. Maybe get a job, get a girlfriend, move out of mommy's house, then come back and preach. <laughs> a real girl. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Is this fucking funny or what? I can't believe he wrote about that loser who can't find a real woman with the real in caps. Is he trying to hint to us the obvious? 
at Sandwich. I was just joking, sorry. I am a female, so I'm not sure the insult prick is suitable for me. I'm also Peter's girlfriend. Generally, do you consider the opinions of dead philosophers like Plato or Machiavelli authoritative? Any specifically? Uh, no, I don't know enough about them to say, okay? Don't ask me. <sighs> anyway, there are a lot more of these, and you can see them here. Only one friend on a YouTube account. Guess who? Oh, he deleted. <laughs> Besides tweeting, YouTube trolling, twit picking, would you believe that Kimmy also blogs? Uh, okay, so there's one with her in a swimsuit here. I, I, are we allowed to look at the swimsuit one? She, she's not in water, so I don't know if it's like appropriate. Out at night looking for fairies. Oh, really? When my parents were still together, we would all go back to Japan during the summer, and I would attend the same playgroup every Amazing year. Mean. I looked at this picture now, and I realized I might never know if all of them are okay. Full of shit. My dad's house is pretty cool. Gotta love Peter for his creativity, randomly finding some Korean kids and wondering if they are okay in a Japanese d disaster, all to boost his righteousness. A real girl. Is that what he calls his hand or the sex doll he bought? I bet it's an Asian sex doll also on the low. I think they are because they are in Korea. We Asians are not an interchangeable. We are not interchangeable. Fuck you. Also, I love how he is psycho enough to come up with all these crazy details about Kimmy like she really exists. Anonymous asked, hey, this might be rude, but I'm just curious. If you done plastic surgery, you look like a porcelain doll. Very pretty with a sprinkle of dullness. That I would probably shit myself if I saw you at night wearing these typical Asian white dress. The ring. But anyways, you're very fun and cute. I've never had plastic surgery, but when I was 15, I went through correctional surgery on my jaw because it developed too far forward or something. I had legitimate health reasons. In fact, for a long time, I thought it was just a flaw I would have to deal with rather than something that needed to be fixed. I felt deformed, though, in the longest periods of my time. Jesus, so this is, like, all fake. <laughs> oh, my God. Maybe he had, like, a friend he had. So much fleshed-out lore. This guy knows more shit about his fake girlfriend than I know about my fiancé. Jesus Christ. Truthful like Tuesday. Him intellectually. Yo, desk now that you have seen Kimmy's father's house. Is this one of those girls you would come inside? <laughs> Good question. What is this? Stardust. Your shit is way too meme for me, okay? But I wish you the best. At one point in time, he made him tired. And now, he made him Susan. No! When I was a kid, I would show my vagina to other kids in exchange for toys, so I can never say I haven't been a hooker before. Truthful Tuesday. I think most of, I think most of my tweets in the bathroom pooping. Nice. I also love how he slanders Lee Na Young's name with his childish commentary. Now, the next one is like a cleavage picture. I don't, I, it's, I don't think it's that bad, but like it's got some cleavage kind of booba. It's probably okay. I mean, people show more on Twitch. <laughs> Look how ridiculously packed in my boobs are in this dress. Makes me laugh every time. And the cleavage is funny because I'm not. Anyway, after looking through Kimmy's stuff, I realized that Peter loves to use her to talk about the Asian race a lot. It's like he's fucking obsessed with Asians or something. Here are some. Oh, really? Oh, wait, sorry. Which one is me? <laughs> no, really, I can't tell. Because all Asians look alike, I guess. Asians, get your peace signs ready. Got rice? <laughs> okay, this is like a swimsuit one. I don't think it's that bad, but it's... She's like on a chair and not in a pool. So I'm just gonna scroll down a little, okay? Asians and deer. They look the same when you run at them full speed with an exposed direction yelling, penis, good time now. As an Asian girl, I am legally obliged to pose like this at all times or risk death. Asians come out at night.
Oh, you're pretty for an Asian. You have big boobs for an Asian. If you're going to say shit like this to me, I would rather be straight up insulted than be left feeling confused and inferior because of my race. Like, what the fuck do you think this is acceptable to say? And for the record, I know plenty of other Asian women who have regular sized breasts. It's a racial stereotype that Asian girls like curves, so eat a dick and shut up. <laughs> Jewish boy angry about Asian body shapes. <laughs> Ad Kami, the day is mine. That's what I hate. And then here's... Shouldn't you Shut be at Nagasaki right? avoiding the Hiroshima bomb? Game. He became so tired he dreamed he had a real <laughs> girlfriend while he was awake. <laughs> Shouldn't you be at summer camp, avoid the showers? Japanese have a lot of with ants. Work, 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 build, build, build. Oh no, a giant lizard is killing us. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, we're just going real hard. You're a He's genius, just... dude. Is anyone surprised the communist fetishizes Asian women? Jesus, this is, I don't even know if I can. Just a lot of old internet jokes. Okay. Just best thing ever. Jesus, Peter. <laughs> oh my God. I don't usually play the race card. I don't give a shit whenever insults people hurl at my race. Call me a, a word. That's like mouth. a basketball term, okay? Why does but there is something really cringeworthy about a non-Asian making all of these Asian jokes. And seriously, he seems to be only capable of making racist jokes. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? Ladies and gentlemen. Hi, my name is Peter Coffin. I have an imaginary girlfriend and an ugly scarf. He was in a relationship with himself for eight months. Jesus Christ. <laughs> There's the... Currently the deepest part of the iceberg. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like I've outpaced him. What year was that? Like 2010. How did you find this shit? Somebody oh, yeah. emailed it to me. I'm a beta, I'm a beta, and we're both beta as fuck. Our self-worth is not contingent on how many. 